And here is the violin with the woodwork complete. The wood's been carefully scraped. Some parts have been sanded with horsetail and now it's ready for varnish. For finishing the violin, I made two batches of varnish, a pale one and a darker one. The reason I wanted the darker one was that if you can come up with a varnish that's similar in tonal value to the wood that you're finishing, it makes the wood look a whole lot richer. The pale varnish I wanted for the salamander because I wanted to maintain the brightness of the light woods in the marquetry. I always start by varnishing the scroll. So this oil varnish is quite viscous and I'm using a small short bristled synthetic brush that allows me to drag out a thin layer onto the wood. Other varnishes like spirit varnishes tend to be applied a lot runnier and you can use a, a larger softer brush. After the scroll I move on to the top and the sides. And finally onto the back. I took the dark varnish down the back to close to the salamander and then I switched to using a pale varnish. And as I said the idea of that was to try and preserve the brightness of the light woods in the inlay. And then I filled in with my dark varnish right up to the inlay. The way that oil varnish works is that once the turpentine has evaporated, the varnish is still sticky, but if you expose it to ultraviolet light, the oil in it will polymerize and dry, and I have a light cabinet for that purpose. The doors are normally closed when the light's wrong because they're bad for your eyes, and I hope you YouTubers are not having problems. And here's the violin with its first coat of varnish on. After that, it's just a matter of repeat about five or six times until there's enough thickness of varnish on there to protect the instrument. And if the weather was nice, I'd let it outside to suck up some California sunshine. And finally, I give everything a rub down with oil and the glass fire earth color, which acted like a fine abrasive. And all I'm trying to do is smooth the surface very slightly and knock out any little bits of dust that are in there. With violin varnish, we don't go for a completely glassy smooth surface the way they do on guitars or automobiles. We actually like to see some texture in the varnish because it gives more of an organic feel. And there it is. Check out the way the oak leaves flash at different angles. And the last thing I need to do is take off the masking tape and get ready for putting the strings on.